Welcome to Screams of the Squirrel. Today I'm going to show you how to find the center of a circle. If you're like me, you get excited about designing your product or your piece and you've drawn your circle on your thin fire paper and you've put it on your kiln shelf and oops, you forgot to find the center. I do that a lot. I get really excited about the, the, the process and I forget. So the first thing you want to start with is something to make a circle with. You can use your mold, you can use a CD case. Um, I'm going to just draw a couple circles real quick and then I'll show you how to find the center. There are a lot of mathematical formulas out there that have you find the radius and then divide by pi and multiply the astrophysics shot of the moon, but you don't need all that. It's a really simple thing to do and you can do it with a simple right angle. And a right angle could be anything that you find in the house that has a right angle. It could be a book. Joy of cold working works really well. You could use a, a piece of glass that you've got hanging around that's got a good right angle. If by chance you don't have a piece of glass with a right angle, you could use a DVD case or a CD case. Or you can actually use something that has a right angle built into it. So to find the center of your circle, it's a very simple process. You simply line up your right angle and you want your tip to point onto the edge of the circle and where it falls off of the two edges. You just give it a little mark and then connect the lines where they intersect. That's a step one. Then the next thing you can do is you're going to repeat that process anywhere in the circle. It doesn't really matter because the line's going to intersect and that's where your center is going to be. So you can do it, oh, just like that. You intersect your lines where they intersect on the circle, where they're marked, and then you just line them up, draw your line, and there's the center of your circle and you can build your project anyway out from there. So you've got your center. You can do the same thing with a DVD. You just line it up. You've got it touching the edge. You've got an edge on the circle, another edge on the circle. You just give it a mark. You connect the lines. And you just do the same thing. Uh, let's find it here. And it doesn't have to be really perfect. You just need your lines to intersect. Yeah. So. Center of your circle. Let's use a piece of glass. Do the same thing. You're going to take the right angle tip. Where it intersects is where you're going to draw your line, intersect it over the circle, and then, hopefully your glass is long enough, you can connect the lines, do the same thing, just repeat your step. And then intersect your lines, center of a circle. And you can do the same thing with a book. All right angles. Line it up so that the right angle is touching the circle. Intersect the line. And then just do it one more time. Yep. That's cray cray. And that's how you find the center of a circle. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find, uh, you find some useful tips out of it and that you're able to put it to use and come back and see us again.